Hi there and welcome to the Dawn Show. Dawn Stenslin Menti here. So we have some very special furry friends today that are in need of a loving home. I hope you can help. We're going to get a cat education first and then later in the show, we're gonna have some dogs on. So we wanna bring in Michelle Muller, who's the development coordinator for Mainline Animal Rescues here to educate us all. Good to have you back again. So great to be here. Thank you. So we should update, we should start with an update. So originally we had you Absolutely. on um, and you were talking about your dog Huey mm -hmm. in a contest has to raise money and vote for Huey and, right. and actually it resulted in Huey placing and yep and he placed about fifth out of thousands of entries which was very exciting uh, we didn't get the prize money um, <laughs> but we did find out that a, a dog who was adopted out from our rescue uh, was because they saw us on the Dawn Show. Yay! So we were beyond <laughs> thrilled that it really is powerful to get our message out and for people to see um, the, the really huge benefits of adopting animals. Well, yeah. and that's what it's all about. So we hope Absolutely. we get we get at least five adoptions today. Absolutely. So tell us who you have here, Michelle. So I have Trio here. He's getting comfy in my lap. You can Aww. see he's a sweetheart. He's about four years old, and he actually came to us um, by a good Samaritan who found him outside, and it, it appeared that his leg was actually caught in a trap, um, unfortunately. So. He did have his, his front leg left uh, amputated, but um, he's doing well. He's getting around just fine. So he, he, you never know the difference. He's doing really well. So he has, so he's missing his front His front left, left leg, yep. He's missing. Exactly, so, but he recovered really well from surgery and, and that's a huge part of what we like to talk about people with is um, educating them on indoor, outdoor uh, cats. You know, so many times um, there are risks outside the home that people don't realize they're trying to good even with good intentions get their cat outside and give them some fresh air but unfortunately there are a lot of things outside the home like a bear trap um, or like poisonous materials but or, who has a bear trap around they're I not know. trying to catch bears they're obviously trying to keep exactly. stray cats away or yeah, neighbors dogs the, or something it's yeah, pretty mean exactly and, and unfortunately there are a lot of people that they just don't like you know having the animals outside so they'll do the, their own you know justice what they see where they'll put a little bit of um, antifreeze because cats think that tastes good but it's actually obviously very poisonous to them so there's a lot of hazardous things out there um, that's a huge risk for them to be outside um, one of the huge differences is actually I just learned recently their lives are, are greatly shortened so an indoor cat can live a very healthy successful life inside the home um, for we see most cats are, that we adopt out about 20 years old um, a cat who's an indoor outdoor cat who goes outside is maybe about five years oh, um, wow. so it, it really shortens their life um, you know things can happen things like other predators other animals they get into a, a cat fight with any other cats that are outside um, they may be injured and you don't know it um, a lot of the strays that we pick up are have been in homes before you can tell and so they unfortunately never find their their original home so it really is important for people to know that it's it's a huge risk placing your cat outside yeah and and like you said a lot of people just feel like well it's cruel to keep them inside sure. but we even had recently our mailman came to the house and said did you just see that in our mm -hmm. driveway a cat who's obviously uh, you know somebody's pet mm -hmm. a gray cat had strayed like onto our driveway a peregrine falcon or some kind of predatory bird which we have a lot of right. in the philadelphia south jersey region swooped down grabbed it and took it away Absolutely. so who would you know i'm gently asking my neighbors luckily it wasn't yeah. any of my immediate neighbors but somebody's looking for their cat out there so Absolutely. And whether it's, it's a car yeah. or a peregrine falcon not a good thing to have them out no not know. a good thing and you know trio is very lucky that he did survive it um, and that a good samaritan you know did find him in time um, but he was in very bad shape and uh, you know unfortunately we do think he was probably someone's cat who you know they'll, they'll never be reconnected but we're trying to find him a loving home again so that he can have a home where he's safe and, and indoors um, but so many of the cats that do go outside just don't make it um, they they do get hit Aww. by a car or or get into a fight with another animal and, and they just never come back home which is really you know the, the saddest outcome nobody wants that for their their pet yeah absolutely we're gonna have more with michelle we thank you, Trio. We hope that if somebody <laughs> sees Trio and loves him, or maybe if Trio maybe will be reunited, maybe the, sure. his family will, or will see him. But we'll be right back with more on Mainline Animal Rescue and Michelle. More animals when we come right back. <laughs> 